track was The Signal off my new album, Short Stories, available, Bandcamp, iTunes, etc. All right, promo out of the way. Let's get started. Today the plan is to work on music for airships. We're going to work on some battle music, um, something that is pirate sounding. So we're going to have a lot of modal melody stuff that I uh, is pretty in my wheelhouse, stuff I do a lot. Um, I'm thinking our melody is going to be something like... Maybe... Something like that. We'll do something cool there. So, yes, we are going to be in 6.8, probably a lot faster than 120. Let's up that to 155 and see how fast that is. Uh-oh. Ah, it does that every time, the first time. Dun, 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 dun. Cool, so let's start with some staccato strings. I'm going to fix that instance first, because I still have not fixed my template to drop this wet signal. I always forget about that. Something like that, maybe? Oops, need to get back to logic. All right. Something like that. I need this to be faster. This needs to be closer to 175. See how that sounds. Quantize. The velocities are too low. Let's try to raise the velocities a little. And we'll reinforce it with some other short string patches, probably the. one being the wrong notes, that was good. Cool. Um, we need some low stuff, so we're going to add some pizzicato basses in. Cool. We just need to get the... Um... There we go, that's C in there. Oops, did I just quit logic? No, I hit it. Ah. Um, so here's what's happening right now in terms of score. That was what we just recorded on the basis, so that's oh. good. Okay. That's just to reinforce the bottom end of everything, give it kind of a nice um meaty bottom. Low end. Um, what if we went now to Don't work with it. Yeah, that's okay. We'll, we'll leave that for now. 
start filling stuff out, adding a different texture, something that's not staccato and short. So our theme One, two, three, four. It's not really in 6-8, but I like that it's like sort of against the 6-8. I think it's actually going to sound nice. I actually think, here's what we're going to do. Other than that, B-flat being utterly wrong. skeleton of everything. Fine. 
trying. <laughs> I just did this as a fix it. pretty good so now we need our string chop this little chunk 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 to be part of it so it's probably going to be like that's pretty good so it's going to be Saying something because I don't really don't play very well at all. Come on. Yes, that's exactly what I want. Let's just do this. That's all except for the low notes in range of our viola. So we can actually paste this on the viola and just get rid of those low chords. Actually, this one and this one, this one and this one and this one. Other than that, we're good to go. And actually, we can record the pizzicato basses here. <laughs> Helps if we unsolo the track that you were working on before. Cool. horns are a little loud and they don't have any dynamic shape right now. Not too bad. Um, we'll add the dynamics here in a little bit. I'm wondering if I want to double these. using that. 
Uh, it's too. Um... Yeah. It's obviously an overused progression to start with. <laughs> Let's um, add a shape in our melody here. Going by the region. in some uh, V1 staccatos. loud
Um. Group those. <laughs> Why I can't <laughs> just follow chords? That's pretty good. So in a chord, one of the things I don't like about using sustained patches is that in a chord, the third is the most powerful note. So if you have D or D and A and D and D and A, it's not really a chord, but I add one F sharp, and it's like the whole chord changes. Or an F natural. I mean, and everything changes. You can take the piano, and you can hit every A on the piano really loud. Oh, it helps if the piano is... Not <laughs> it's helps if the brass and so on. You gotta do every A on the piano, so every A on a piano versus one C sharp. The C sharp wins, right? Anyway, so the point of that exercise being that the third of chords is really important. The third of chords is the de defining note of the chord and is most powerful and should generally be quieter than the rest because again it can it can compete with huge amounts of roots and fifths. Um, so when you have a patch like this, which is a sustained patch, everything's the same volume no matter what you do. 
So you can't balance the chord very well. What I think I might try to do, so what you can do is you can double with low breath. And that helps, but still not quite right. What I could do is, is reinforce the fifths with my trombone legato up here. And that would sort of, but it kind of, it's sort of an additive process that builds up over time and eventually you just end up with everything being too loud, so. On solo. I'm sad we don't have that note. Let's try that. So now we need to do something interesting, so we need to have a chord that's different. So we've been going, um, you know. So now we could go to is. I like that. That's a little interesting. So that was. something a little bit outside the the key it's not super adventurous but it's at least a little bit unexpected at least we're not repeating a corporate Yeah, it's a little adventurous. Uh, yeah, no, the mic only goes through left. Sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. It, it, well, okay, that's not true. There are three choices. We can have mic that I don't have to screw around with through left ear only. We can have mic through both ears, but an incredible amount of ambient noise, and you can sometimes barely hear it. Or we can have a mic that I have to screw with by having a logic track that I have to constantly switch to whenever I want to talk. So unfortunately, I've decided that it's just easiest and best to just have a nice mic that goes through um, left only. <laughs> And hello, by the way. I think if we had a little... Kingdom for a tempo sync suspended symbol.
happening in the score. Nothing too adventurous, but if you want to follow along, uh, note that some tracks are not quantized yet, so they appear in the score as a bunch of tied 16ths. <laughs> so far. do that note for note. Maybe we could just do the... Let's try it without the strumming first. No reverb yet, but...
So um, I was working on a piece, some music, um, for a piratey game. This is for airships, but this was, oh, you know what? Oh, it currently says royalty free on my thing. I should change that. Um, um, airships battle music. Um, I was working on a piratey game, and I used a bunch of sea chanties. This was one of them. Let's listen to it real fast. Is this the one? <laughs> really is too slow too as much as I like it okay I need to hear the whole piece again <laughs> I think that might sound good.
question is... Yeah, it actually sounds really good on horns. And we need low brass staccato. Is too loud. And that last note being completely in the wrong beat. That's pretty good. I don't like this little brass staccato. It's. Again, I'll see if we play the right notes. Everything is awesome about that, except for that I put an F instead of G.
it's trombone staccato, right? Okay, good. I should go through and... Okay, good. Make sure my region names are correct. This would be really hard to actually orchestrate for real orchestra because I think I'm out of. Well, I guess you could do flute one. Well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs>
Why does it this thing hate me so much? No, it doesn't fix it. I wanted the velocities on that to be unique, but I think if I just do it here, it'll be fine too. <laughs> It's actually a little slow, I think. What happens at 188-ish? <laughs> It's just generally too loud. <laughs> oh. Oh, my suspended symbol is now not right. Um much is it wrong by let's fix one and then it'll fix the rest <laughs> It's just a measure early here. That's the problem. No, it wasn't wrong. That's interesting. It felt wrong. Okay. Thank you. 
Oh. <laughs> I actually really like it. I thought I was going to hate that. Okay. Close. I'm trying to mess with the score on the other monitor. What note is that? What the heck? What is wrong with me? What does that sound like altogether? Something went wrong when I quantize this. I like this a lot, quite a bit actually. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Point five, awesome. We'll just do that for now. We need some chili staccato to back all this up, but we don't want the full chords, so let's cut out definitely all of that. Little bit of a mistake there. Definitely the top notes here, so we should get. And 
and bam. Helps if you record at the right time. What is wrong with the rhythm there? I think this is wrong. some more coffee and use the restroom. In the meantime, I'll play something off of an album. Actually, you know what? I'm going to play some of the lost music uh, that I wrote for Wayward Tide. I don't know if, if Wayward Tide is dead dead or what the deal is with that, but uh, while I'm gone, we'll listen to something a little bit more cheerful um, from that as sort of a getting, staying in the piratey mood. Um, so let me get this started here, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. 
right. So yeah, that was from uh, Wayward Tide, which, as far as I know, is not happening anymore. Um, so I thought of, I actually did a bunch of music for that um, that I never they never ended up using because they never. Um, I think the project is at least definitely on hold. I've thought about um, releasing it as a um, sort of searching for um, like forgotten tides or something. I don't know. Okay, so we've got some structural issues. This does repeat, and that's fine. Um, but I think it's got to repeat a little bit differently. So. <laughs> copy this. Let's delete everything in our copy that starts in that measure. That's fine. We can delete those drums. That's not a big deal. So we should now add... <laughs> this side of this. Oops. One thing I wish Logic had that Sibelius does is when you select something, it's considered an action. So if you select a bunch of things and then accidentally click away, you can actually use the undo command to reselect them. Which I love.
this may I think there might be something wrong with the way I looped that. Let's see if it <laughs> Okay, so I need to listen to the entire track, which we're going to hear all that stuff again. So I just need to see where we are and what we're doing. I'm thinking we're at about two minutes, which we're pretty close to the loop. So I need to start thinking about something that's a unique section here, maybe for uh, six or eight measures, um, that then brings us back to this loop here. And then we'll, then we'll basically have the most of the track done and just a matter of going in and balancing it with my actual monitors instead of these headphones. <laughs> We can actually do this thing. Where was that? I think it's this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Doing good, doing good. Cruising along here. fix my other slip and it's symbol this is wrong it's off very subtly but it's off i think it's off by like an eighth note <laughs> Good there. Wait, what? Okay, let's try that again.
Just gotta reinforce that now. This is gonna be the hard one because I got rid of all these. And all these. And this one's gonna be easy. Because it's everything but the lowest note. So I think if we put a big, giant, ambient large, just at the beginning. And maybe even a tsh, like a, like a cymbal crash. I think what we have now is a looping track. That sounds good to me. All right, so what's left on this one is really a lot of balancing and mixing, which I can't do. You'd think that $450 of what I paid for these, that, that'd be better for the There's just nothing that replaces the knife. It's really swashbuckly, and the loop is great. The loop sounds great. I mean, we're back to the beginning of the piece. The only thing I think I want to fix is this. Uh, I don't know if I like this being an octave lower here. And I think it's a little loud. Really, there's only, I was going to say, there should be a bunch of modulation events in that track. Let's try here. Let's see what this is. That's 
better. I want I want there to be a, 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 a simple crash at the beginning of that. A nice. Yeah, like. Yeah, there we go. Just gives that a, just a little bit more kick, a little bit more oomph. It's really a four four. At least that's how I feel. fun thanks for stopping by um i'll be finishing this up i'll try to post it to soundcloud when it's in better shape i'm gonna have to spend um a good day with it probably to mix everything but, but yeah anyway i'll go back and put this back up to the volume is up might do is this. I like this part. Da -da 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 -da. I need to fix that transition a little better. I think actually the thing the only thing it needs a transition needs first of all it needs a suspended symbol to be correct and it needs a big So let's fix that suspended symbol too. As I recall, it just needs to be like 16th or 8th note back. Much better. I like this. This is very De Beersy here. <laughs>
Okay. I think the name Sky Pirates is probably the best possible title that this can have. Here's a look at the score. Yeah, I really like that. That turned out really well. So this is actually the second piratey battle music I did. Yesterday I did some that I really wasn't super happy with, but I might reappropriate the melody. Where was that? It was, uh, I should probably not put that on the screen. Um, the other one I had done was yesterday's was this. Oh, well, actually that doesn't, for some reason that doesn't. No, that was the creepy one. Uh, where's the piratey one? Is it? So you'll hear a lot of similarities with uh, what we just did, but I, I like what we just did better. This is the other piratey one I had done. <laughs> Yeah, there's that chord progression that I used in the middle there. But it's just a little bit less catchy, it's a little smaller. I like the little bass clarinet there, I should have more bass clarinet. The reason, the real reason I didn't like this one is that melody gets a little Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a little closer. sent that one to David. Um, the other one I did yesterday was the one for creepy spectral ghosts and things, which was actually a real challenge because, um, you know, ghosts, you know, you, you think of creepy music for ghosts. It's very ambient. And it's kind of slow and in the background. It's really textury, um, but it needed to be battle music. So we went with a whole tone scale. And lots of textual elements sort of around all of that. Choir.
Bye, Phil. Sorry I missed you. for airships um, about a week ago that I don't know if we're going to use. Let's see if this is it. This one is not really... doesn't have like a feel to it. It's not piratey or ghosty or creature-y. <laughs> nope, that's the one we just listened to. Um, probably this one. So we'll have to see if we that one may not end up in the game. We'll see. This one. It almost sounds a little ghostly with that cool flute, but I'm doing a lot of battle music recently. It's probably why a lot of my Royalty Free stuff has been more calm ambient music. See, we'll see what ends up where and what happens. Um, as for this one, I think we're pretty much done here with this whole piece. So um, I guess I'll play it maybe one more. Oops, don't join all the regions. Um, I guess I'll play it maybe one more time and uh, maybe end with a, a royalty-free track that I did earlier this week. So let's take a listen to this one more time, and then we'll call it a day.
yeah, I, I really, I'm really happy with how that turned out. I, I think that really, um, I really like that. That's my favorite one that I've done recently for, for airships. So the way this is going to work is there's going to be an update to airships at some point, and this will get dropped in as battle music for specific things. This plus the other ones that I've been doing. Um, there's a five eight and seven eight one um, for some other stuff. So maybe we'll include some of those other ones. We'll see. Um, maybe even some non-battle music. I'm not 100% sure where we're going to be putting it. Um, just airship. We, I've just been so impressed with how well Airships has been doing just as a game. Um, I just feel like we could really expand the soundtrack with all the um, stuff that David's adding. I mean, uh, David Stark is adding, you know, tons of stuff to that game. He's added all sorts of monsters and systems. And I mean, I'm just really impressed with how it's grown. So I thought the the, the OST should grow along with it. So at some point, what I'll probably do is uh, put out like a Airships Volume 2 um, once we've got enough of the new music um, and just, just kind of see where it goes. So, yeah, um, I guess to close out the day, since we're post Thanksgiving, we can uh, and it's almost December 1st. We can listen to uh, uh, I did some Christmas music for royalty free um, this week that's currently in process. This is sort of, a, I guess, a, a commercial for that if you're a sort of person who licenses music. Um, this was some of the more recent uh, Christmassy stuff I've done for that. Um, right now it has a stupid, boring name, um, but we'll give it a, maybe another name and stick it on maybe an album someday. So I guess we'll close out with that. So um, thanks for being here. Thanks for all the kind words. Um, my, Michael Glenn Montague, I'm sorry I'm a few minutes behind, but I did just see your, your, uh, your compliment. I appreciate that. Um, and of course... AK2L, is that right? Um, I love the feedback. It's been great. Um, I actually think your a suggestion earlier that it sounds like Sky Pirates. I think that's going to be the name of this piece, Sky Pirates. So and anyone else who is watching, I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to pick up some stuff, um, there's some links on the screen right there for albums and stuff. And to close out, a little bit of uh, jolly Christmas music. So uh, once this is done, we'll call it a stream. So thanks for being here. Uh, it's been real fun. I'll be pushing this video to YouTube this afternoon. And like I said, I'll be going through and mixing and balancing the one we worked on today and hopefully get that up on SoundCloud, you know, by the end of the week. So anyway, thank you so much. Enjoy some Christmas music. <laughs>